Well, hey there, everyone. So I've been talking quite a bit about the process of lining up the Todd engine. And uh, so yesterday I finally got the opportunity to uh, get the uh, piano wire installed. And so let's take a look at the installation. So as you can see here at the head end, there is a, uh, well, I've got a piece of steel here, steel angle, and then there's a pulley, and then there's a string attached to it, and it goes down to a weight, which is a inch and a half eye bolt. And you'll notice that is one of those uh, three inch Harbor Freight uh, magnets that you can get for like six bucks. Uh, extremely strong, and especially, you know, with that kind of a load, not only pulling, but we're also trying to pull down this way. So it's, uh, it's just clamped in place for now. I'm actually going to weld that here in a little bit when I go to do the, the final measurements. Uh, so, uh, so what I'd have to do at this end here is go in there and measure the bore, uh, what, what the diameter of the bore is with my uh, inside micrometers and then go half that distance and then see where that wire is at. So I got it lined up pretty close right now. Uh, um, close enough for what I'm doing today. And then you go back here. And then you see that boss right over there? So that was put in the casting for, uh, for lining the engine up and it states it right in the uh, right on the drawing and uh, this bore is 40 inch diameter uh, this is the lower uh, cross head slide and then the upper one is up there and then they machine that bore at the same time that they were uh, um, you know they were boring this out now over here on this side there's there was a threaded hole for a bolt so I put that bolt in there so knowing that um, this bore is 40 inches all I have to do is take my, my inside mic and then measure over 40 inches and adjust that bolt till I'm right on 40 inches, then cut that in half to 20 and then measure from the bolt to the wire and then measure from the boss to the wire um, and, and adjust that wire until it's right there in the middle. So when it's in the middle here and it's in the middle of the forward end of the cylinder, We've got a pretty good idea that that wire is exactly dead, dead nuts down the middle of the high pressure side. So then, once you know that, once you know that that thing is straight, then you can come back here and actually take your measurement. So here's another piece of angle. It's another Harbor Freight magnet. And then what you do back here is so I can measure from the wire over to this machine surface and then I can measure over to that machine surface here so on either side then I can go all the way up there to the other side of the uh, crankshaft there and measure across at those two locations since there's a boss on this side and that side that are both machined um, when I do that, uh, ideally, if this thing is at 90 degrees, this wire should be running right down through the middle. And what I think this is, this is 12 inches wide. So this wire should be right at six inches here and way up there. That should also be six inches. And that's telling me that the uh, crankshaft is 90 degrees to the, um, to the center line of the, of the uh, of the high pressure side um, and and that's exactly what we want however when I do this I get like five and three quarter and then six and a quarter back here so yeah it's a it's a little bit crooked in that direction I believe or no it's I think it's that way a little bit yeah it's sitting out a little bit so that's the that's the whole thing of getting the steel brackets here and, and the uh, uh, hydraulic ramps and all that and lifting this crankshaft up out of this bearing far enough so that um, we can take and move the entire high pressure 
bed plate and bend you move it over a little bit until it lines up straight and then you can set the crankshaft back down um, so that's that's basically all there is to it we're gonna do the same thing over over on this side here um, this blue thing was something that we were going to uh, I was going to use that but I uh, I went out and bought some angle so I'm going to use the angle instead same deal over here we'll just have to rotate the crankshaft closer to 90 degrees so we can touch both ends of those uh, machine surfaces we also have to get the uh, the low pressure cylinder out which I think we'll probably get that out this upcoming weekend um, oh well, while we're back here so painting of the flywheel we're there all the way around i just painted that little bit there all the way around to here and then we just have two spokes about three spokes worth to to do um one of our volunteers mike he's been out here every weekend working on painting this thing I really appreciate it this what you see over here, this is new paint, but that's just oil and dirt that's gotten on it here lately. Okay, so the uh, low pressure cylinder is ready to go. I've got the new slings here ready for it. So when we pick that up, set it on the transfer cart, roll it out here, pick it up with the forklift, bring it over and set it on these two cars. So uh, we just got done fabbing these up yesterday. Uh, basically, these are movable uh, bolsters. And then when we set the um, piston rod down on it, we'll, we'll get two uh, pieces of angle pushed up against it and weld them in place, create a little bit of a cradle pick it back up, get a thick piece of rubber belting to put down there as a, uh, as a cushion and then get a uh, uh, short uh, strap to strap over this to hold this in place. And then the low pressure piston rod will sit on these two cars. The piston will hang down. There'll be about, uh, about six inches of clearance from the top of the rail to the bottom of the piston. And that's basically gonna sit on there for a while. We're gonna use that as a uh, as, an, as another interesting load to pull around for the photo freights, uh, which I think ought to be pretty cool. Another interesting load we have out here is uh, one of the uh, uh, crank covers. This is for the low pressure side. Brought this up, set on its side. Uh, I don't know if this thing will fit through the engine house to get it out of here as is, but the idea with this uh, is build some brackets so that we can stand this thing up and it'll sit on the ground on its own without flopping over so we'll probably get that that done pretty soon so all right it is like 89 degrees today it's pretty darn warm i don't think we're going to get all that much work done this week in weather like this i'm doing some paperwork right now and uh some office work and i was doing a little painting here earlier but uh probably not going to get down and dirty with too much with this kind of temperature so all right everyone take care and we will uh, come at you with another update here as soon as we've done other interesting stuff to share